Hello everyone and welcome to Close to the Sun, a first person horror mystery game that actually came out a few days ago. If you're interested, check down below in the description, the details, the links, all down there. Uh, in this game, I'm going to be playing as a journalist in the late 19th century, aboard a ship I think created by Nikola Tesla, who's in a bit of a war of ideas and of technology with Thomas Edison. Interesting premise, honestly. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks, to be honest, a lot like Bioshock, but apparently the gameplay is a lot more like Soma or Layers of Fear, so I guess we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoy it. Let's start a new game, shall we? I am sure. Okay, the brilliance of Ada, who I think might be my sister. My dear sister, mm. I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now leave me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? Probably quite a lot, I imagine. That's why it's part mystery game. Anyway, here we are. We just need to leave the room. Okay. So, ah, welcome aboard. So let's see, am I wearing the official Helios outfit? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> cool. All right. So, let's see, anything around in here? Uh, oh, what can we do? Can we... okay, we can jump. We can run. I don't believe we can crouch. Uh, is that an inventory? Oh, no, it's objectives and a list of collectible items, I guess. And it looks like there's three in this prologue. Okay. So, let's see, anything around here? Aside from that, of course. Alright. Oh, there you go, that's one of them. So this is it. This is the Helios, the eighth wonder of the world. A triumph of engineering for the advancement of science. Join the Helios crew. Apply at your local Wardenclyffe office. Okay. That is a very big ship. Created by Nikola Tesla himself, as I understand. The sister's tragedy, does that say? Maybe a little bit of foreshadowing? Uh, okay. So nothing around here. We can't interact with the, uh, the drawers. Okay, well, let's leave the room and let's see what we can find. Yeah, that is a very, very big ship. Okay, another collectible down here, I guess. Better than oh, no. these automated announcements. Um. Oh, I see. Okay, so we just get the plain text version. I was thinking, I don't have to squint, do I? But, uh, British Navy in pursuit of the Helios. Alleged kidnapping of prominent British mathematician has the world on edge. Hand him over, says the Prime Minister. Bordencliffe denies wrongdoing, claims that Maxwell joined voluntarily. International group of diplomats rally to calm rising tensions. Okay. Yeah. Strange alternate history that we find ourselves in this time. Something over here? Oh, there's Tesla. So, uh, yeah, uh, conquering new scientific frontiers under the guidance of Nikola Tesla himself. Invent and innovate without artificial limitations of capital or politics. Yes, I can, uh, I can already see the similarities to Bioshock. I think Andrew Ryan shared some similar sentiments. Okay, I guess I can't go through there. Um, that way? <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. I like the way this looks, I like the way this feels. Runs pretty well, too. 
Aha. Okay, so the green ones we can use, the red ones we can't. Fair enough. Wow. That's it. Okay. Um, anything else around here? Let me just um check. Yeah, okay, so there is just one more collectible to find, and we can actually refer to them by going into this. Fair enough. Through here, maybe? Okay. Ah, oh, this could be the third one, I guess. And it is. Okay, yeah. The Helios Grand Theatre. The best entertainment to stimulate the best minds. Sounds like only the best of the best, the elite, get aboard the Helios. Right, well if we're heading to observation, we probably need to go that way, but... Just want to make sure there's nothing else to do. That's the door I couldn't get through. What about this? I mean, I, well, I guess I've... Yeah, I've collected everything. I guess there's nothing more to find. Still. Yeah, it's a good looking game, actually. Yeah, let me know what you think at the end of the video. This might uh, this might turn into a series. Okay. All right. Press the button to commence docking procedure. That's it. Just that red button. Don't need to pull any levers or flip any switches around here. All right. I trust you. And yeah. Alright, well obviously the prologue was short and sweet. I think we can go through at least one chapter before I stop playing The Border of Hermes. Go on then, let's get acquainted with the place. Okay. Right, that red button really did the job, didn't it? Okay. Establish communication with Ada, my sister. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as easy as that, but wow, look at this place. This is crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. This might be one of those games where I just take a moment every now and then to just sort of breathe in the scenery. The great Helios would be more... busy? Yeah. I guess Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Well, let's just take a sneak peek. What have we got to find in this one? Okay. Five collectibles this time. So I guess it's going to be a little bit longer than the prologue. The ladder? Could do, could do. Not exactly what I had planned, but I guess it'll have to do. Maybe this is just how they treat journalists around here. Wardenclyffe, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there a whale aboard somewhere, or is that something else? Maybe that was just the whine, the moan of the machinery. Let's see, welcome aboard the Helios. The Helios. 
scientific endeavor that cruises in luxury while the rest of the world is left to fend for itself. Seems so. What's this? Oh, another newspaper article. Right, okay. Uh, top scientist von Helmholtz vanished. Rumored to be aboard the Helios. Left wife and child without a word. Hungary reportedly has gained access to early versions of the Earthquake Machine. Sounds ominous. I think I've heard of the Earthquake Machine before. Was that a Tesla invention? Or uh, maybe a note or something? I don't think it was probably invented. Authorised personnel only? Okay. Well, not this time. Seems like I'll have to let myself in. With this? Probably. Very cool. So what's this? Isolate and eliminate the ship rat. Division of investigation, okay. There you go. That was the welcome I deserved with all that fanfare. I just wasn't around for it. This is huge. And this was what? Was it the bow or the stern of the ship that we went into? Sort of opened up at the front. I suppose it would be the stern, right? Oh, come on! I was just looking at the world and you cheap shot me with that. It worked, though. Right. Someone's left the door ajar. Warden Cliff. Yeah. A company distributing electricity to half of the world, I see. and yet still hungers for that other half. Ah, right. Wow, look at this, you are here. How many sections does this have? 60? And we're in, we're in the harbour. Yeah, okay. It's got its own harbour, it's that fucking big. Alright! Wow. Okay, well, let's see. Can I squeeze through? that? Quarantine. Quarantine? Hmm. Is that red paint or blood? Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? <laughs> More like, what have you got yourself Great. into? <laughs> Great, yeah. Just fantastic. Okay, esteemed guests or employees? Well, let's try employees first, shall we? Did I bring any documentation? I don't think I did. So where is everyone? Why the quarantine? Something around here, maybe? Oh yeah, there is. Passport, I think. Yeah. Nicholas Ford, born in 1850, USA, New York. He's an actor. 21 day visit. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> I've already missed two collectibles. Oh, shit. I don't think this is going to be one of those 100% runs. Right, um... Well, let's pretend that I'm an esteemed guest, shall we? Or maybe I should go that way? To all the baggage? Wow. How the f- How heavy is this? Ah, okay, someone with a considerable amount of strength just did that. Let's not go that way. <laughs> ah, right. Hop over? Yeah, I don't play by the rules, me. Okay. That may have been red paint earlier, but that is certainly blood. Go on then. Okay. Like, everything I'm walking up to and touching is just breaking at the moment. Can I, okay, maybe I could squeeze or pry this open. Desks, machinery and stuff in there. Or well, maybe there's another way in. Join him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing the similarities to Bioshock. They're extremely, extremely evident, actually. Elevator up ahead. Indeed. Security override, right, so yeah, two security overrides. Let's, uh... Let's go over here, I guess? Another big old room that we don't have access to. Hello? 
Oh. Any anyone there? Is it? Okay. That was where I was supposed to hand in my documentation, right? Ah, let's go in here. Ah, crap. Okay. Uh, this way then? What do we got? To the gents. Is everything locked? Oh, it's out of order. Use the ladies' room. Right, I suppose I should, being a lady myself. Oh, come on, where the... Okay, I'm gonna need a bucket and a funnel. Well, at least this one didn't break. We'll go in there in a moment. What's this? 140 to a storage room. He's in it for the money, is he? Okay. Oh, man. I need to get myself a master key or something. <laughs> Don't have access to half of this stuff. Right. There is to be no movement on or off the Helios. And yet, here you are. Another one of innocent spies, I think. Uh. No matter. Movement throughout the ship has been restricted. Whether you are friend or foe, do watch your step. Gee, thanks for the warm welcome. Yeah. Now what have you done with my sister? Let's see. In accordance to Procedure Protocol A-12, officers greeted the shuttle from Sydney upon arrival. When the guest did not appear as instructed, the officers embarked the shuttle to perform a standard search. The guest was not found aboard, and neither was any of the issued Wardenclyffe paperwork or issued clothing. Further inspection of the vessel revealed a noticeable but harmless indentation of, on the starboard side of the shuttle. There was no record of this dent when the vessel left Sydney, so it's possible that the shuttle was boarded by another ship while en route to the Helios. This is the eleventh incident of similar nature this year alone. The vulnerable nature of our automatic shuttles has to be corrected. The ID documentation and Wardenclyffe uniforms that are regularly lost could provide Edison with enough information to create convincing forgeries. I have yet to receive any reassurance that measures are being taken to prevent these incidents from reoccurring. Security Officer De Rossi there. Okay. Vigilant as ever. Wow, Rupert's got a lot of land. <laughs> okay. So yeah, maybe it was an Edison agent that defaced that poster in the storage room. Alright. Uh, we read that earlier, didn't we? Yes. Okay. Makes sense. Copies of the same newspaper. No. Interrogation subject Andrei Lachenko. Alright, there's a lot to take in here. What about that one there? Spy connections. Go on. Tom, Kate, and Jean. Yeah. What's this? Oh, it's another passport. Another collectible, actually. Great. Okay, so this one's uh, Jean Huan Choi from Korea. And he's staying here indefinitely. Lab researcher. Right. Well, I guess he's, uh, he's helping Tesla himself. Hmm. Okay. Neat. Ottoman Empire, of course, yes. <laughs> I've got to think when this is set. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. There's a door over there. Oh, and there's one there as well, actually. Maybe that can be like a shortcut back. Bingo. Yeah, okay. Uh, what did I pass by over here, though? Looks like elevator buttons, but no. Some sort of puzzle? Do they need to point inwards or something? Or both to the left? I don't know. Let's just try variations and see what happens. Oh! Right, yep. Trial and error wins! <laughs> there might be a rhyme and reason to that, but I didn't see it. Ah, oh, right. Okay, one more to go. Okay, and the other one's on the other side, I guess. What else we got? What's this? Armless. <laughs> A suspected sleeper agent for Edison. Okay. 
Huh, right. Maybe that's why there was the quarantine? Or maybe it's a little bit more sinister than that. And here we are, another passport. Somebody else working in the lab. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah, a couple of doors over here. Let's try them. Another office? Yep. Oh, man. If I ever find those office keys, I am in for a treat. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, might as well take the shortcut back and go to the other side and see if we can find the other security override and get this elevator working. It's been uh, very, very mysterious so far. And Oh, it was just pain? It was just pain. Oh, not blood. Right. Mears. Another private office, so I assume I can't get in. Of course not. Again? <laughs> surprise, surprise. There you go. Right. Ah. Well, this one's open. Gamp. Ha! So, Gamji, you're still around? Ah, oh, come on. I really want to try this handle, but I can't. I can't even try. Fuck. Okay. That's twice now, game, that you've spooked me a little bit. Jump scares. Bastards. <laughs> okay, similar thing. Loose lips could sink our ship. I guess that's how we got the solution. That should do it. Easy. Now to find Ada. <laughs> Who's this then? Vapor. Everyone's got their own little code name, it looks like. Matthias Ellis, Simon Alder, Ernest Hemson. Okay. This is all pretty juicy stuff, honestly. Hopefully I'm, you know, making notes. Taking all this down in some way. What do we got here? Another internal communication. Okay. The interrogation of researcher Becker had an immediate effect on the amount of cross-department chatter that contained sensitive information. Unfortunately, it also made the suspected Edison leak go silent. We are therefore no further along in our investigation over exactly what material has been compromised. I am hereby requesting that a more hands-on approach be taken in order to assure the continued security of the Helios. We cannot afford another grand-scale sabotage. Once is enough. I am aware of how uncomfortable Mr. T is with these less sophisticated measures, but doing it in the old-fashioned way is sometimes the only option. That's Information Officer Strootman. Strootman, what a name. Okay. Anything else around here? I guess I'm looking for more passports. They, they seem to be the collectibles around here. Edison denies espionage allegations. Accusations are merely circumstantial, claims Edison. Preparations for a countersuit is on its way. Wardenclyffe declines to comment. Tesla absent as preliminary hearings commence into accusations of Edison espionage. Right, they're really going at it back and forth, aren't they? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's something else over here. French climatologist this time, Jean Villepreux, seen boarding shuttle, yeah, to the Helios again. Hmm. He's recruiting everybody. What's he planning exactly? Okay, let's just go around the outside and let's see what we find. Another shortcut, I think. Or no, 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 not a shortcut this time. What's this? 112. Inter interrogation. Oh, come on. I've got to get into one of these rooms eventually. Again, another interrogation room. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay. Oh, maybe I didn't miss the, uh, the collectibles. Another passport, yeah. Only seven days. Ugh. Bloody bugs. <laughs> Jackpot. Infosec just sent a tube that corroborates the dates and places. He's an Edison spy, alright? Your gut instincts were right, again. It's important that we make this one count. We need to tap him on all that he knows, whether he wants to sing or not. 
This is definitively a West-West situation. Feel free to get creative. And that's Security Officer De Rossi again. Okay. Nice mask. That's blood though, right? That's not paint. I'm not falling for that one again. Right. Okay, there's only a few combinations that this can be, I suppose, so let me just go through all of them and maybe I'll find something. Oh, found it. Whoa. So this is how suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios? Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. Quite a few tools of the trade. Ooh, okay, nice. Very nice. Freaky mask, though. Uh, <laughs> um, and this? Another newspaper? Yeah, okay. Who is it this time? A British intelligence officer. Okay. Hmm. And that's it? Okay. Well, let's get back to the main room. I think there was maybe... Yeah. Some stairs and a ladder to climb up. Let's see. Nah, you didn't get me that time, game. <laughs> I'm immune to your shocks. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. It's, you know, it's fairly slow-paced at the moment. But, um... I like the world that they're building. No clambering over for me. What's this? Oh, oh, that, that's, I think, the fifth collectible. I think we found them all now. So, it, David Bishop, right? Accompanied minor. Again, just for seven days. Yeah, was that? Yeah, 100%. Okay. <laughs> two for two, then, on the, uh, on the collectibles in the chapters. Another newspaper? Yeah. Oh, what's this? Tesla's death ray to make war impossible. Nikola Tesla proposes to compel the world towards peace with the threat of immeasurable damage. His newly announced weaponry is about to go up for auction. It has nations all over the world scrambling for funds. Tesla's ship-mounted weaponry could annihilate an entire fleet. Goodness gracious me. Death ray, earthquake machine. Anything else you got up your sleeve? Actually, isn't there a story of him using something like that as a payment for his stay at a hotel? And the hoteliers didn't ever want to open the package because they thought it could kill them. Something like that. Maybe it's a weird rumour. Ah! Right, so this is the tube. Don't worry, her research holds the key to everything. Really? Nice little signature down there. Cryptic. Who was this message for? Don't know. Might be referring to Ada, though. Okay, are we done here? We, we've, we should probably go and use that elevator, right? Yeah, I think we're done here, so yeah, let's go back around. Something down here? Oh, there is, there you go. Renowned Russian mathematician Ivan Asanov. Okay, he's joined as well. They're rounding everybody up. Okay, right. <laughs> Probably should have done this ten minutes ago. What's this? What is that? Oh, a keycard. Ah, I see. For the elevator. Uh -huh. Right. Neat. I like how sort of steampunk everything looks. Ah! Hey! What the hell? Hey! Hey! Shit! Was that an interrogator? I think maybe he was wearing the same kind of mask. I, oh, I guess that's going to be the end of chapter one, right? So chapter two, The Fire of Prometheus, might be where we start part two if this gets turned into a series. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed this part and let me know if you want to see more, okay? Thanks for watching. Maybe see you next time. Oh, I see. Okay, so we just get the plain text version. I was thinking, I don't have to squint, do I? Okay. Oh, come on! We're in the harbour. Yeah, okay. It's got its own harbour. It's that fucking big. 
More like, what have you got yourself into? Right. Let's just try variations and see what happens. Oh! Right, yep. Trial and error wins. Ah. Well, this one's open. Damn. Ha! Oh, come on. I've got to get into one of these rooms eventually. Again, another interrogation room. Oh, shit! Oh, found it. Oh. I like how sort of steampunk everything looks. Hey! What the hell? 